My name is Roy Davis. I'm celebrating recovery from drug and alcohol addiction. You know, some people argue the proof of God's existence, but one thing they can't refute is a changed life. So if you have a testimony to share, understand this. It's not yours to keep. Don't be like the fool that buried his portion. Revelation 12:11 says, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. At the age of 12, I was already up to a pack of cigarettes a day. I was drinking and skipping school. I was breaking into cars and burglarizing people's property. To pay for my habits, I was the kid you did not want your kids around. At the age of 14, I would serve my first jail sentence. By the age of 26, I had already been in and out of jail over 20 times in four different states. Every time I went, I would pick up the Bible and attempt to learn who God was. But every time I was released, the urge to use drugs and alcohol was still there. So I would leave God in that cell and return to my lifestyle of stealing to use and using to feel accepted. By the age of 27, I was no longer using to feel accepted. I was using just to function. I had become a recluse. I wouldn't let anyone get close. Those who tried to just got burned. Nobody was exempt from my theft. Those who were closest to me felt it the worst. I was at the end of myself. Every time I shot up meth, I wondered if this was finally it. I would hear voices from the enemy saying, you know what you need to do. Just load up a fatal dose. Nobody wants you around anyway. You'd be doing the world a favor. In January of 2017, I was lying under a pile of clothes in an abandoned house. I finally cried out to God. I told him, I can't go on like this. I'd rather die. I went to sleep that night believing that I'd put it in his hands. The very next day, I was arrested on a felony warrant. As I sat in the back of that police cruiser, a sense of peace rushed over me. I knew it was finally over. This time was different. In prison, I only wanted to be around other Christians. I couldn't get enough of Christian literature. The desire to use was finally gone. I couldn't even bear to hear people talking about their drug use. When I left prison in 2018, June of 2018, I took God with me, and he's been with me ever since. I'm learning that he's put a calling on my life. He's stirring up a desire in me to reach the unreachable and love the unlovable. Today I'm over four years clean. I'm living proof of God's existence. I'm living proof that God is good and that God does give us a new heart and a new life. I'm living proof that there is no such thing as too far gone. I'm part of Celebrate Recovery. I serve in a landing where I get to serve troubled teens. I've, asked, I've been asked to be a Celebrate Recovery inside state representative for Northeastern Illinois. God is paving a way for me to take Celebrate Recovery into Champaign County Jail. I also serve at Jesus is the Way Prison Ministry in Rantoul, Illinois where I get to serve recently released inmates who love Jesus and just want a fresh start on the right path. My decision to turn to God was the best thing to ever happen to me. I look forward to the future now, and I can't wait to see what else God has in store.